Hi, Jackie. How you doing today? Eh. How are you? Hmm. I'm okay. Thanks for asking. Mm -hmm. I see that you have signed a release so I could talk to your mother and that she brought you in today. Yeah. What's, what's going on there? Um, you know, they, they think I have a drinking problem. My family. Your family thinks you have a drinking problem? Yeah, so what really started this was this past weekend. Um, they came to pick me up for my, my cousin's bridal shower and uh, I, was, I was drunk when they came to get me so I couldn't go and now everybody's pretty pissed at me so here I am. So they ask you to come into the agency? Yeah, you know, I don't I don't want them to all hate me or anything, so I, I agreed to come. Mm -hmm. Do you do you believe that you have a drinking problem? I mean I like to drink. Mm -hmm. I don't you know I think it's okay. You think it's okay? Yeah. I like I like it. I like drinking. Come on. You mind if I ask you a few questions related to your drinking? Oh, that's fine. Right. So, how often do you drink now? Um, pretty much every day, I would think. Um, I drink every day on the weekends, for sure. Um, but like, uh, during the week I'll go to the, whatever the best local happy hour is, you know. I'll just go about what's going on. So I'll go after work and have some drinks. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how about on the weekend? On the weekend, I kind of keep to myself. You know, um, so I'll drink a little for whatever I have at the house. But yeah, I don't really go out a lot on the weekend. Mostly just stay at home and you know drink whatever I have there. And how much are you drinking? Let's say on the weekend. Um. It's hard to keep track, I think. Uh, say a couple cases over maybe like two or three cases of beer throughout the weekend. And, uh, if there's something on sale, you know, at the liquor store down the street, um, I'll get like a bottle of vodka or something to go along with it. All right, how about during the week? Um, during the week, I just I stay at the bar for a few hours, maybe have like six or seven drinks and then go home. Yeah, maybe I'll have a glass of wine when I get home. Are you drinking more than you want to? Um, I guess so. I mean, I've kind of tried to make a plan to just stay on the weekends to drink some um, and that hasn't really kept up because I like to go to the happy hours and stuff. Mm -hmm. and so. So you've tried to cut down before and. I have, <clears throat> yeah. Too. It's, yeah, it's not really happening though. I don't really see it happening. Do you have cravings for alcohol? Um. Yeah, you could say so. Yeah, when I'm at work, I want to drink, and um, you know, when I'm out doing stuff, I kind of I want to drink. So. Are you using exclusively alcohol or are there other drugs involved? Um, right now just alcohol is legal. I was uh, inpatient a couple times for uh, cocaine, but I've stopped that. It's not really something I want to do anymore. So. When was the last time you were inpatient? Um, about four months ago, five months ago. Four or five months ago? Mm -hmm. And at that time, you used cocaine? Yeah, I was using coke and, and alcohol. drinking, yeah. Right. And why did you stop using cocaine? Um, well, I graduated from college. I was kind of the partier in college, and then I had to get a job, and it was kind of, I don't know, I had a fear of losing my job because of the cocaine, and I had to get a drug test and stuff, so that's kind of in the back of my mind with that. So, you know. Um, I think the, the treatment helped with that. Do you crave cocaine? Um, no, mostly just alcohol. Just alcohol? Mm -hmm. How about uh, your work? Are you having any trouble keeping your job or your performance at your job okay? Um, I think I'm not doing the tip top of what I could be doing, but 
you know, it's, it hasn't really been a problem. I haven't been threatened to be fired or anything like that. But, you know, I'll come in late every once in a while, but I, I sneak in, so nobody knows. All right. Any social problems because of the alcohol use? Um, me with my family kind of right now, yeah. I'm not really getting along with them very well. Um, my friends, though, when I go out with them during the week, we're, we get along fine, but, you know, they're just not really as fun as they used to be, so sometimes... Your friends? Yeah. Sometimes they want to do stuff and like, go to the movies or whatever, and you know, they get a little mad because I don't want to go. I'd rather go, you know, party somewhere. Right. So you're having some social problems. Yeah. Not so much with your friends, a little bit, but more with your family. More with my family, yeah. My, I mean, I guess my friends aren't that happy with me, but it, I don't think it's a huge deal. You know, my best friend and I haven't talked in a couple of days because she, uh, she was mad at me for not coming to dinner with her the other night because I would rather drink and she didn't want to do that so so there have been some some problems with the yeah I guess so with, with the friends yeah have you found that uh, you're engaging in any activities that are physically dangerous because of alcohol um I've gotten hurt a couple times I mean falling down the steps but I'm not going like skydiving or anything you know so I, mean, I did sprain my ankle a couple months ago because I fell down the steps, but other than that, I've been okay. Do you find that um, you have any exacerbation of symptoms that you have already, like any medical or mental health problems made worse by the alcohol? No, I'd say I'm pretty healthy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, did you notice a point after you started drinking when you had to increase the amount that you drank to get the same effect? Oh yeah. When did that happen? Um, I think I kind of go through phases with it, you know, I'll, I'll drink a certain amount for a little while and then I'll notice, you know, I'm not even drunk anymore, so uh, I'll have to drink some more. When was the last time you noticed that, when you noticed you had to drink a lot more to get the same effect? I'd say like last weekend, you know, I was uh, drinking a couple beers at my house and a few hours had passed and I drank probably like 10, 12 beers and I wasn't feeling anything. So I started drinking them a little faster and then I started, you know, feeling a little better. How about withdrawal? Do you have any Symptoms of withdrawal when you stop drinking? Uh, like physical symptoms, anxiety? Well, I mean, I want some more for sure. Um, Craving? Yeah, I crave some more, but you know, I have a headache now. Headache? Yeah, so. All right, Jackie, are you open to seeing a counselor here at the agency? Uh, I think that's what my mom really wants, so yeah, so maybe I'll try it out once or twice and see what happens, but I guess to make her happy I will. Alright, so you want to try it out? Yeah. I'll get you scheduled to see a counselor. Uh, I want to thank you for telling me about what's going on and for answering my questions. It's been helpful. Yeah, sure.